Hello people, this is me and my KV1 again. Uh, this is the fourth master badge I've got. Uh, it's the first one on this map, which I believe is called the Fisherman Bay. Um, yeah, uh, playing the KV, KV1, um, it is enlightening for me because like, I started the game on in America, then I progressed, then I sold all the American tanks to buy the British, and now I've got all the British tanks. Um, I'm moved over to Russia. Um, this one's on my own. The last few's been with my cousin in a platoon, but this one I was on my own. And I, I was happy to see that I didn't come. I didn't have any, uh, any, any artillery to wear about in this particular map, which is always a bonus. Even with the new mechanics of how the artillery works, it's still a pain in the ass. Um, so on this one, I was just trying to uh, trying to scout, trying to find any easy targets that I could take out from this distance, which, as you can see, there wasn't any really. Uh, so I was just seeing if there was any way I could get a shot on this K KV-1. But yeah, uh, I took a few random shots but you know I know the chance of them hitting was very rare anyway uh, so I think working and let's just stay here and let's just double back on myself again and see if so I know there's the gap down there and that's exactly what I saw so I saw M4 thought well I'll take a shot at him uh, got him good hit so at this stage I was still a bit concerned because obviously I'm on my own Pretty well, I'm not on my own really. I had got close support, so I was conscious of having that close support. Again, I'm just boarding back to see if I could try that. And I, and I seen the KV1 coming out there, so I took one shot and then I got behind the bush. And obviously, he couldn't see me at this point uh, because obviously I was I was uh, covered by the by the bush, and I I was definitely taking a good few shots at his. Lower bit of plate there, um, and I was doing a lot of well, I put a lot of damage into him, which actually helped get him out of the way. Now, the T1 heavy tank is something the KV1 can, in most cases, handle quite easily. So, I thought, well, let's, let's advance and see if I can get to take him out. Um, so, I started moving up very slowly because obviously. You've got well, you you can't really go fast in a KV1 anyway. So I was double checking to make sure that no other attack could see me. Um, I, I was conscious of him being there, but I thought, well, hold on a minute. You know, I don't think he can see me, so I advanced to the. T1, uh, but obviously he knew I was coming, and uh, he was ready for me, he took a shot at me, but you know, you angle your your armour in that way, and he can't really do much. Obviously I had the Excelsior as a backup tank, uh, so this T1 didn't really stand much of a chance at all, really. This is when I was shot at by a KV-1S, which thinking about it now I probably could have engaged quite easily in the turret but you know my first concern was to get into cover and look and see what's going on um, at this stage we were still equal 6 versus 6 so it was an open game for anyone really um, it's at this stage when I well I'm going to engage this, to, this KB1S now um, at the time, I, I, I just seen KV-1. If I knew it was a KV-1S, I would have been hitting the turret. Because you can, you can take them down pretty quick by hitting the turret. But yeah, at this stage, we, we started to he, jump ahead here now. Uh, you know, 9-7, 9-8. You know, it was a close battle all the way through. Uh, my damage is pretty good. Uh, I'm quite happy with my performance so far. So I thought, well, I'll start making my way back up onto the hill to see if I could do any support. Uh, 
along the uh, along the road and on top of the hill. Uh, my my big concern was the Japanese heavy tank. Um, I, I think it's the IO something prototype or something like that. Uh, I was conscious of him because I know he's got a big gun and he can definitely put the damage down. Obviously Churchill is another pretty good tank that could do the damage too, so I was conscious of these of these particular tanks. Um, I will just speed it up a little bit now because uh, there is a lot of movement now. Um, as you can see we we you know I thought we had it in the bag really. Um, you would think at this point we've got it in the bag, but you know the last three players on their team did. You know they they, they, they did very well in, in getting it back down um, to a more level playing field. Um, at this stage, I was just trying to get shots in where I could, uh, but they were making it very difficult. And uh, at this stage, I was very—I started to become very conscious of of how close it was starting to become. Um, at this point, I was a bit surprised to actually see the T67, which. Is a very dangerous tank when it comes to the uh, KV-1 because that gun can put a lot of damage down. But luckily, I think he was just as surprised to see me as I was to see him. And obviously, because I was slightly lower down than he was, I'm guessing that particular tank killer hasn't got no gun depression, so that's why he couldn't really take me out at this point. I was very concerned because I knew there was only I knew that I knew, I knew that IO experimental was a real danger. So I was trying to indicate to the STRV player to go round and flank the other side. But after that message on the map, I could see he wasn't going to do that. So I just thought, well, may as well just go for it, and and what happens happens, you know. Both me and the Matilda on lower health actually went for it, and he just stayed back. He's on, he was on 100% health, you know. But to be fair, he did put some long-range shots in, which did save my 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 life. So you know, he, I think he took a 300 hit now. Uh, yeah, it was that one. Uh, that's what won the game and I took that gamble and I was able to put, finish off this player um, so yeah a nice 1700 well I'll go through the results now I will show you the uh, the stats of this battle here here's the stats of the of that battle you've just seen so uh, 30,000 credits in the bag, 1,091 XP, uh, master badge, uh, quite a few uh, badges, um, awards, I suppose you could say. Um, it's a bonus because I won, plus I survived. I only just survived, but I still survived. So, yeah, looking through this, I spotted two. Uh, plenty of spotting damage, over a thousand spotting damage. In a KV-1, which is unique, really, uh, because heavy tanks are really designed for spotting. Uh, that's meant to be a light tank's responsibility. Uh, rico ricochet or blocked armor isn't too bad at 895. Uh, damage modular is seven out of all the tanks, not bad. Uh, my damage is pretty good to come in at 1,787. So yeah, uh, I only took out two tanks, but the damage is what I concentrate on more, to be honest, because, you know, you get the damage in, you get some Master Badge. Uh, so thanks for watching. Um, until my next Master video, whatever map or tank that's on. Ta-da.